The second affirmation, I'll be excellent and good with the skin I'm in, is a philosophy I introduce all my mentees to day one. Mm -hmm. And it's a mantra that's embedded in my own head. I'll be excellent and good with the skin I'm in. Can you talk about this affirmation a bit and how being excellent can and will make a difference in your leadership aspirations? Absolutely. So we talked about, I'm talking to the Eagles. We're all Eagles in this room and we have brand equity in our names, okay? But the only reason why we have that is because we are excellent. And as I say in the book and the title of the companion journal to the book, slay every day. You have to slay every day. And the importance of that is that's the passport to authenticity, to even betting on yourself. And in fact, even knowing your value. If you know how excellent you can be, that you can kill it every time, no matter the job, small or large, you know what you bring to the table. And when other people recognize that excellent, it makes you unimpeachable when it comes to your capabilities. And Eagles, we've got to get that conversation off the table. They can't question whether you can actually do the job or not. You want to remove that factor. And the way you do it is to be excellent. That's when you start to operate in that ability to be uniquely you. And I'm not just talking about hairstyles. And believe me, I was the one at the Fortune 10 with the curly blonde, strawberry blonde fro and the nose ring. Why? Because I understood that my work was excellent. And if they didn't like the work, I'd take my fro and my nose ring somewhere else because I knew my value, right? But beyond the look, we're talking about the work style, the communication style, the leadership style. This is where you get to color outside of the lines if you want to, because you've already established that you're excellent. You're going to get that job done and everybody knows it. 